I'm Carrie. I had a successful comedy career, but I wanted more. So I have one of those, um, what do you call it, husbands. And, uh, I'm Tom, also a successful stand-up comic, and I'm the more Carrie was looking for. He said it tongue-in-cheek. Oh, mm -hmm. We got married. And I got her pregnant. Ooh. Yeah, with twin baby boys. We realized that if we wanted our marriage and careers to work, we had to get our acts together. Literally. We're very happy. We got we're the happy. child we always wanted and want the parts. Yeah, that's how we're looking. That's how we're at. Watch as we try to juggle life on the road, our careers, our marriage, and parenting twin boys. Let's hear with the very talented comedy duo of Potter and Louise. Potter, everybody! Clear the air. You're all looking up here saying, wait a minute. She sleeps with him? <laughs> No, no, not anymore. No, no not no. not since our wedding day. Yeah, actually. that was the last time. I yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, was the most stressful day of it my was entire romantic. life. Stressful. Beautiful. Because my bride decided that we had to invite this guy that she used to cheat on me with all the time Sweetie, to our wedding. Your brother had to be at the wedding. <laughs> now I'm serious. We're gonna make sure they don't go out on the balcony. Make sure your kids don't That's my biggest worry. So, I mean, it's, it's a hotel. What can go wrong in a hotel? But we have a balcony. We want you to keep that locked. They can get the lock. And they like the sliding glass door. So if you do babysit, lock that. Okay. And no smoking. No smoking? Unless you go out on the bathroom. But don't go out on the balcony unless you lock it. Don't lock yourself in because then you'll be out on the balcony and the kids will be in here. So don't even smoke. Forget it. You said that you would uh, babysit our boys, right? Not both of them. I'll do one. You just do one? Yeah. I mean, I'll do one, and I've got friends who don't worry. Right but I'll tell you this, they'll be changed. People ask us all the time if we use fertility yeah, drugs no. to have twins, and not unless you count Prozac and pot as fertility <laughs> drugs. As you know, Tom's Irish, yes. right? And mm -hmm. uh, I'm Lebanese. Mm -hmm. That's a great combination. You know the boys are going to grow up to be drunken terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> We're very proud, yeah. Pretty proud of that. <laughs> And they were due, they were actually due in January, right. but uh, they were born in December, so they mm -hmm. came early, just like Daddy. <laughs> Please welcome Tom Carter! I'm getting fat now, I got the love handles, that's what we call them now, the love handles. What is it really? Side blubber, that's what I have. <laughs> Hip lard, let's call it what it is, shall we? And I can't get rid of it. I was doing Jenny Craig for a while, but then her husband found out, and now... <laughs> She's my lovely bride. And he's my lovely husband. Lovely. My husband is also a comedian, so he supports my career uh, wholeheartedly. In fact, he can't wait till I get something so we can ride my coattails. But I'm wishing the same thing for him. <laughs> it's like when she got pregnant, she said, I'd love to see you give birth to a child. And I said, well, I'd love to see you pee your initials on the snow. We're just different. You know what I mean? We'd like to invite Carrie Louise to the semi <laughs> Because I'm just a magician. I'm very proud of you. Tom, you're on deck, so get your act together. I Figure know. out what you're going to do. I know, I know. You can't nag me now. Can't be nagged right now. Nag free zone. Right here. No nagging. Mmm. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thank you, baby. No, lipstick. Lipstick. Have a uh, big round of applause for Carrie Louise. So I can't hold down a job. I get fired from everything I do, and none of it's my fault. When I was a lifeguard, I hated the job. I mean, you sit there all day, bored out of your mind. No one ever drowns. <laughs> all right, well, this one girl did, but I couldn't save her because I just ate. So. Comedy Spotlight. Tonight, get ready for two of the hottest acts in the business, Carrie Louise and Tom Cotter. So when you start writing, what, what time does it come to you? When you like, well, you're bed? assuming we write. We don't write. Sometimes You're, he writes yeah. while we're having. Oh, really? That's true. You're, I have come up yeah, with jokes. He's come up with jokes yeah. during that moment. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, what kind of jokes? Like, Cut. Uh, he's like, oh, that's funny. I'm like, what's funny? In the middle of it, because I just thought of something. Oh, the TV might be on. I can't believe we're talking about that. I, we have sex with the TV on. But, right. And he'll be listening to the news. Mm. Right, right. And he goes, oh, that's a funny news thing. And while we're having I'm like, I don't even know the TV's on. Right. I'm so in love and so connected. Not only was the TV on, but you were on the Tonight Show. All right. I'm stand-up comedian's mother of twins, Carrie Louise, and her husband, comedian Tom Carter. Hi, everybody. Carter, to the show. What are you having, do you know? 
I don't know. I'm afraid to find. I don't. I want. I. It, I don't know what it is. I want it to be a girl because I have two boys at home. And if it's not a girl, it's going to be gay. I'll tell you. <laughs> I have needs. I need to go shopping with someone. <laughs> Someone to do her hair. Well, what do you about. think about it? Do you go to all her doctor's appointments? I do. I, got, I went to every single one before. And that's humiliating if you're the guy. Why? You walk into the door, and within five minutes, she's naked with her feet in the stirrups, and I can't even get her to wear a cowboy hat to bed. You know, so that's humiliating. <laughs> so some stranger gets her like that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you got to pay this guy. Yeah, that's but, humiliating. But there are some good parts about having babies and stuff, because you get to play with all the baby Absolutely. stuff. Yeah, like uh, Playtex, for an example, has a synthetic nipple for the top of their bottles that is so unbelievably lifelike, and you have not lived <laughs> until you had a gin and tonic through one of these. Honest to God, that is a slice of heaven. Right there. See what I see what I I see what you're saying. So, mommy, do you have to go home and fight him over some of the other toys in the house? Or yeah, no? I have to scream at. Th I have three baby boys. This three baby boys. This has to be a girl. This has to be a girl. But I'm afraid to find out who the father is because I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be surprised. Top 20 new parent tricks. Teething rings are great, they can have water in them, they can be mildly cold, but they should not be frozen, because that can cause damage to the gums. We did that. We did uh, teething rings in the refrigerator, and then Tom used them for his margarita one time, and that didn't work. My mother kept telling me to put whiskey on her gums. You know, once you're drunk, you know, the pain of their crying just is so much better. <laughs> yeah. If you say that Superman or Batman or someone made it, then they'll eat it. Flash Gordon asparagus is a big hit in our family. Yes. Yeah. And Batman broccoli. 529 plan is awesome. It's we the best thing we've ever done. Are very big proponents of the 529. We did it like right when they were born, mm -hmm. and uh, now they have more money than we do. It's really hard to keep your sex life going when you have twins. I mean, I have two boys crawling all over me, and I don't want a third. Hi, I'm Carrie Louise, and I'm a stand-up comic. I got married and had twin baby boys, Cameron and Harrison. I had another baby named Tommy. My husband, he's a comic himself. So basically what that means is I have four baby boys at home and they all want my breasts. I'm exhausted. So if your life is crazy like mine, you know that every once in a while you need a minute to yourself. Here's your mommy minute. Enjoy. This is actually a pretty good idea. No. Oh, by the way, your circumcision is next week. Welcome to the Parents Loft. Where being a parent is our only expertise. Now, today's question comes to us from Katie in Indianapolis, Indiana. And she writes, Dear Tom and Carrie, my husband is Jewish and I'm Catholic. Religion was never a big deal for us or our respective parents until our son Cooper was born. Now we're all at each other's throats about it. We can't seem to find compromise on this one. Do you have any recommendations? My dad was Catholic. My mom was Rastafarian. Right. And that was very weird growing up because my dad would bring home the Christmas tree and mom would smoke it. Fortunately, we didn't have that problem. No, we did not. No, we're no. both Catholic. In fact, we met in church. Mm -hmm. Remember? I do. So romantic. Very romantic. You know that offering that goes around in Mass? Yeah, well, Tom paid for me. Yeah, stepped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember our first date. That yeah, was amazing. It was fun. Tom touched my heart. Yeah, it was actually her boob, but it was right <laughs> on top of her heart. And uh, I treated you like royalty. Man. Yeah, he took me to Burger King. Burger <laughs> King. And uh, he did order for me, though. I did. Well, we were in a drive-thru. <laughs> 
you know, fifty percent of all marriages though end in divorce. That's true. And the other fifty percent end in death. Yeah, so where's the happy ending? At the Chinese massage parlor. <laughs> no, this is the happy ending. Ladies the and gentlemen, this is Carrie Louise from Jerry Davis, my lovely bride. Thank you very much. This is Tom Connor.